Hi, I'm here from Pixar, and I'm going to present some of the work we've been doing with regards to interactive lighting inside Katana on top of the NVIDIA Optics framework. So lighting influences the mood and tone of a shot, which is why Pixar takes a great deal of attention with the way it lights its shot. Here's an example from Monsters University, uh, the campus lit during the day and at dawn and at night. And as you can see, the shot will read vastly differently depending on the lighting rig. In the past, we used to fake a lot of lighting effects by just using lots and lots of lights. So this is a shot from Toy Story 3, and all the indirect illumination was literally faked with hundreds of lights. And this is an example of the lighting rig for that same shot using this new physically-based model. And as you can see, we've got just a dozen lights, and it makes everything a lot simpler. And because of this, the studios moved to this new model. It was first introduced on uh, Monsters University and the Blue Umbrella. And this is the way we're going forwards with our future films. And this is a viewer built on top of optics. And the reason we used optics is because it isolates us from NVIDIA's hardware changes. So whenever they release a new card, they automatically optimize this SDK. And it makes our life a lot easier and allows us to concentrate on the algorithm, the shaders, the lights, as opposed to memory alignments and other issues. And what I'm going to show you is running on a full production shot with our production assets using the same lights and same BRDFs. So here we've got Katana. On the bottom left hand side, we have a standard OpenGL view, which obviously doesn't give them much visual feedback. And on the top left, we've got our optics viewer. So as you can see, as I move the camera about, everything gets refined. We can see a bunch of lights. I can turn on and off indirect illumination, and we can see the effects of that on the back wall. So as you can see, we've got the entire set now loaded. I can go back to this key light and literally just move it so that we get a nice effect. We can have this shadow fall on the bed cover and literally dial in how we want this shadow to fall to produce the aesthetics that the directors are looking for. So we can see the uh, frat house interior, which is beautifully lit. Again, I can expand our lighting rig, single out the fill light, our hard key light, window light, soft key light, as well as various other lights. And as you can see in here, we've got some slightly more complicated materials. So for example, the chandelier has glass and we're doing real refractions. So I'm just gonna give you an example of this. I'm gonna zoom into this chandelier and we can see the refractive effects of this uh, sofa through the glass of the chandelier. And all these refractions are ray traced and they're all performed as I'm moving about the camera. And here we're ray tracing all the reflections in real time. So you can see all the reflections of the entire room in this teapot as I swivel about. And I can also go in and, for example, change the roughness of this teapot. And we can see that these, these reflections are becoming a lot more glossy. So potentially this could also be used to dial in some of the shader properties for our shaders.